pemirsa selamat sore dan pada hari ini kita akan bikin Q&A video seperti yang sudah kalian lihat di title dan ini adalah video yang kedua yang kita bikin karena pertama kita bikin satu minggu yang lalu pemirsa dan saya mau edit dan si Travis waktu itu di video dia agak lemas agak sakit kepala dan dia ngomongnya cuma dia sendiri yang dengar pemirsa sedangkan saya mau edit saya tidak dengar apa yang dia bilang makanya saya bilang ke dia kita harus shoot lagi karena saya tidak mau nanti penonton saya mau nonton tidak semangat. Anyway, really sorry pemirsa saya kalau terlambat jangan oh, jangan cekik saya. Oh blame you on me. Yeah. I'm sorry pemirsa, I'm sorry. It was a bad day, I had a headache. Pokoknya kita dulu satu jam pemirsa bikin video itu dan ternyata hasilnya sangat tidak bagus sekali jadi. You know. But let's move on. Okay. <laughs> So, kita dapat banyak sekali question. Banyak yang sudah saya jawab di video saya yang lalu, yang di Q&A yang lalu, dan banyak juga pertanyaan yang sama ya. Jadi kalau nama Anda saya tidak sebut, berarti orang yang sebelum Anda sudah menanyakan dan saya sudah jawab. Oke? Okay? Oke, okay, saya taruh pertanyaannya di bawah ya nanti kalau sempat. We're not going to have more babies after Rachel. Right? Maybe. Maybe. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two is enough. We got a perfect set. One boy, one girl, close in age, perfect. Yeah. Um, rencana sih ada ya, tapi belum tahu kapan mau pulang. So, karena masih banyak yang harus kita bikin di sini. So, Zach William and then Rachel Abigail. So, kakak menikah tanggal berapa? 12, 12, 12. Uh, makanan kesukaan kita semua. What's your favorite food? Food? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, um, I love uh, eggplant, when it's cooked spicy, spicy eggplant, um, and... Poki poki, baby, or something. Yeah. And um, I, the, the food you make, or just in general? Because I really like that fried tofu. I don't know, I think it's in general. Okay, um, I, I like a, most, I like a lot of chicken, and um, I like uh, omelets. Omelets. Omelets oh, yeah. are really good. Omelets, yes. I love omelets. Kesukaan saya, pemirsa. Popeda, kalau makanan Indonesia ya. Nasi kuning, uh, lalampa. Aduh, banyak sekali. No, I'm talking about my favorite food. Mm. Tapi kalau makan kesukaan orang luar, saya suka kebanyakan Mexican food. Oke, okay, yang ini sebenarnya saya sudah pernah bilang ya. Uh, saya itu di sini tidak punya teman dan lain sebagainya maka makanya saya uh, decided untuk buat YouTube channel dan share keseharian saya dan eh ternyata ada orang yang suka dan subscribe sudah banyak sekali sekarang sudah mau hampir four years right? The Mary? Yeah. Yeah, about almost four years. Mm -hmm. Four wonderful years. Um, no, karena badan saya dia turun sendiri walaupun saya tidak diet saya tidak olahraga dia itu sendiri ya perut saya juga kempesnya sendiri jadi saya tidak perlu sit up or whatever ain't nobody got time for that you're <laughs> no. pretty skinny as it is have you guys seen her seriously yeah. okay so tanggapan saya tentang haters mereka itu tidak punya kerjaan kerjaannya cuma ngomelin orang di YouTube uh, memang sih mereka bisa memberikan opinion ya di YouTube tapi kalau menghina dan lain sebagainya karena sudah banyak sekali saya mendapatkan hate comment tapi saya saya itu bingung saja loh ini hater hater mereka ini uh, mengurusi keluarga mereka atau tidak ya kok mereka itu loh urusi kehidupan saya ya kayak kehidupan saya itu the center of their life gitu loh oke okay, ada yang saya dapat di komen bilang begini pergi ke baby shower saja kamu nggak vlog I mean hey orang yang ada di baby shower saja tidak komentar dengan yang saya bikin mereka oke okay oke -okay saja karena mereka tahu bahwa saya adalah seorang vlogger kok kamu sih yang saya ya kan kayak nggak punya kerjaan gitu loh saya tidak perlu menjelaskan kepada setiap hate comment apa yang saya bikin di vlog supaya mereka mengerti karena I have no time for that like my time is so limited haters gonna hate so but really when you have 45,000 people who say they love your content and you have like 16 who don't does their opinion really matter yeah. I don't really think so well that's why God create middle finger you know <laughs> you know what middle finger for haters <laughs> like for okay a lot of people, they, the reason why they make these hateful comments is for two reasons. First, they don't like that you have some sort of success 
that they have. They're, they're jealous of something you have. That You have all these people praising you, and they secretly wish they had people praising them. So to try to lash out at that, them being upset about that, they, they try to tear you down, make you seem less good. And on the other side, they have an anonymity. Uh, means that they are brave because they have, they're not saying it to your face. They're saying it with an avatar. You know, they don't think you can, they can you can really talk to them. It's not, it doesn't feel as um, the same as being in front of you and saying it to your face. And most of these people are cowards and they never would. What is lash out? Lash out means to attack somebody. Oh, but so, so you use words that I can understand and my few words can understand. My apologies. Um, so really, they are both immature and cowards. Cowards. Haters are cowards. Yes. Now, there's a big difference between, between being a hater and someone who has constructive criticism. We've had some of our viewers that love your content and they've made suggestions. Yeah. That's, that's very good. different. I would never discourage you guys from making suggestions of something you think that she could do better. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a big difference between that and being a. Absolutely hater. correct. I'm going to ask you 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 to ask Saya tidak mau tahu dengan bills bills. Kalau di Indonesia kan uh, istri-istri yang bayar ini itu ya. Kalau di sini walaupun dia mau kasih duit ke saya, saya bilang eh, you saja karena terlalu pusing dengan segala macam bills bills. Jadi biarkan saja dia. So. So we spend four thousand one hundred dollars a month, which uh, translated to uh, Indonesian would be thirteen thousand per one dollar. So essentially, it's thirteen times 4.1, which is 52.13, which is 52,130,000 rupiah. Rupiah. 50, more than 50, lebih dari 52 juta rupiah kita spend satu bulan di US. And that's actually, you know, poor. We are on the lower middle class. Um, we do not make very much money compared to other Americans. Mm -hmm. um, we could definitely be considered poor uh, in some places in America. When we were, if we were living in California, we would be very poor. Yeah, karena California taxnya lebih besar, alias pajak pemirsa. Jadi kalau uang yang kita keluarkan tiap bulan ini itu di masuk kategori miskin. Jadi memang di Indonesia uang itu terdengar besar sekali kan. Kebanyakan di Indonesia sih berapa sih kalau satu bulan kita keluarkan paling lima ratus ribu saja itu sudah banyak sekali ya di Indonesia. Nah, di sini pemirsa, ya begitulah. Jadi kalau mau di uh, masukkan ke kursi Indonesia memang sangat banyak ya. Kelihatan bahwa kita adalah rich alias kaya, tapi ternyata tidak. Kita di sini cuma biasa-biasa saja, hidupnya diberkati saja ya. Jadi apapun yang kita punya itu semua karena anugerah. So. In America, it might seem like our, we are like rich because some of the things we have. But the standard of living in America is different and to maintain this, it costs a lot. If money isn't going to make you happy. Uh, you gotta be happy with what you have. Karena suami saya adalah seorang militer USA, jadi di Indonesia tidak ada base USA Air Force ya. Jadi saya harus ke sini pemirsa. Well, tergantung pekerjaan dari setiap bule-bule yang orang Indonesia nikahin. Kalau mereka bukan US Air Force atau Army atau Marine, whatever it is, uh, mereka bisa tinggal di Indonesia. Tapi karena suami saya meng, uh, itu ya tanda tangan kontrak 20 tahun pemirsa, jadi saya harus ke sini dia tinggal. So, yeah. Iya, yeah, mereka berdua asi waktu si Zak asi dari lahir sampai uh, sampai umur 9 atau 10 bulan ya. Kadang-kadang saya kasih botol kalau saya keluar dengan teman dan si Travis yang jaga uh, si anak-anak di rumah. Dan kalau kita keluar sama-sama, saya bawa botol hanya untuk persiapan. Uh, saya juga punya apa itu uh, kain yang menutupi darah itu kalau menyusui. Tapi kalau saya tidak merasa untuk menyusui, saya kasih botol saja ya. And mereka fine, mereka tidak alergi atau apa sebagainya, enggak. When are we gonna go to LA? Uh, two months. Two months from now or two months for Rachel? Because Rachel is gonna be one month really soon. Two months from one July. September, Vanessa. Okay, so tidak ada YouTubers yang menginspirasi saya untuk bikin video uh, vlog setiap hari ya. Saya bikin itu karena anak-anak saya menginspirasi saya dan juga saya mau supaya keluarga saya di Indonesia atau teman-teman bisa melihat keseharian saya di sini yang gila-gila pemirsa ya. Dan um, 
Youtubers favorit saya Ada tiga orang pemirsa Yang satu itu adalah Emily Noel Editri Saya nanti tahu semua link mereka di bawah Dia itu adalah um, Makeup expert kayak ini Dia tahu semua seluk beluk makeup Saya tidak terlalu uh, per... What? Oh. <laughs> saya tidak terlalu nonton banyak uh, beauty guru di luar karena kebanyakan mereka itu disponsori oleh beauty beauty company ya dan kadang-kadang kata-kata uh, mereka itu yang mereka kasih di YouTube itu tidak benar walaupun produk yang mereka tidak suka mereka bilang mereka suka tapi Emily Noel dia membuat video yang tidak disponsori erol dia tidak tidak suka itu ya jadi semua yang dia kasih di internet itu sangat bagus sekali sangat top dia pokoknya tapi saya bingung kenapa dia tidak punya banyak followers ya karena dia sudah di YouTube sudah lama sekali tapi masih 800.000 subscribers. Dan yang kedua saya suka si uh, Chloe Morello, dia dari Australia, sangat cantik sekali, sangat humble. Saya suka dia uh, dia mukanya kayak Candy Monaco. Yang ketiga adalah si Social Light Life, dia itu sangat lucu sekali pemirsa. Um, tapi kata-katanya itu agak banyak yang kotor-kotor menurut uh, American words tapi dia sangat lucu saya suka karena dia juga apa adanya kasih uh, review juga sangat real ya jadi uh, to my favorite channels yeah my favorite channel for me because I watch a lot of uh, politics is uh, a very funny way a look at politics I like Baring he's hilarious and if you want something a little more serious is uh, Sargon of Cad and Big A Andre okay a little bit jealous. So peanut butter and jelly. He's very jelly, peanut. jelly. Yeah. He's very peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Are we going to teach them only one language or two? We're going to teach them both languages and probably three languages because we're going to make sure we teach them Spanish as well. Yeah, I like Spanish. Yang paling sering saya masak untuk dia adalah tofu. Tahu goreng saus sama telur rebus goreng saus. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Dia mengerti. The favorite thing that you make for me, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Saya lebih memilih di Indonesia karena di Indonesia orang-orangnya sangat uh, bukan sangat friendly. Tapi kalau kita buka pintu rumah tiap pagi, pemirsa, langsung kita bilang hey di tetangga ya. Di rumah di saya di Bitung kalau saya tidak punya cabe, saya mau pergi ke rumah tetangga dan minta cabe <laughs> atau minta tomat, whatever it is, oke? Okay? Tapi kalau di sini, pemirsa enggak. Waktu saya pertama datang ke sini, saya tuh kayak aduh. Ini kok saya nggak bisa buat apa-apa ya karena orang-orang di sini semua kayak berjaga-jaga gitu loh. Mereka tidak mau kalau oh mungkin kamu orang jahat terus kamu datang ke rumah saya. Mereka tidak sembarang buka pintu ya. So saya waktu pertama di sini tidak terlalu tidak terlalu suka. Hey, I got asked a question over uh, Snapchat. Can I answer it here? What is it? They asked me. Um, I forget the person. I apologize. But they asked me multiple people. Why did Britain leave the EU? Do you know why? I don't know. So, um, the basic complaint of why they wanted to leave was because imagine America passed laws that Indonesia had to follow and then it didn't apply well to your country and it was hurting your country. Would you think it was okay for America to make laws for Indonesians to follow? The EU is a bunch of, of countries that had a big a big group of people who were leading and making laws for other countries, and uh, Britain didn't like having to follow laws that are made by other governments. That was the reason. Ah, uh, yang bikin saya terharu ya. Hot sauce, the rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, benar sekali, pemirsa. <laughs> Waktu pertama saya injak Amerika, pemirsa. Saya kelaparan tengah malam karena saya sampainya itu waktu itu tengah malam ya. Dan dia masak nasi untuk saya dan tidak ada lauk, tidak ada pauk. Dia kasih saya nasi sama hot sauce dia taruh garam. Terbaik saya makan karena saya lapar. Dan juga saya sudah biasa di tempat kos makan kayak gitu ya. In my own defense, you said you eat rice by itself back home. I thought that'd be jadi itu sampai sekarang saya tidak pernah lupa dan saya sangat terharu sekali waktu lihat di piringnya saya saya, saya waktu itu kayak wuuuh makanan yang sangat tidak salah lagi. I'm sorry. 
So, kita tunangan dulu baru kita urus visa K1 karena saya K1 kan. Karena kalau kita mau pergi ke embassy harus di itu ya dikasih bukti-bukti tunangan foto-foto uh, tunangan. Jadi, tunangan visa. Kita beli dia dari umur 2 bulan. We are outside use the bathroom. Um, we give her food and water. We sometimes cook um, boiled chicken and rice for her. Mm -hmm. uh, we take her to the park. Um, try to take her out for runs to keep, keep her exercise. Pergi hiking. Hiking. Um, basically, they're meant to be outside, meant to be outdoors. So you can't leave them inside the house all day. You have to go do stuff with them. Otherwise, they get upset and they'll break things. Okay, Sarah. Uh, ini tergantung dari saya ya. Karena di Amerika uh, ada dokumen yang harus kalian tanda tangan sebelum kalian actually giving a birth. Uh, dan di situ dikatakan bahwa uh, kalau mau nggak ada saudara-saudara lain yang mau datang jenguk atau kamu cuma mau anak kamu sama uh, si Travis atau ada lagi satu orang yang kamu mau tanpa. Jadi waktu itu di waktu Rachel lahir cuma ada anak buahnya si Travis yang datang untuk jagain si Zack. Um, dan saya dari pribadi saya tidak suka banyak orang saya tidak suka ada keluarga yang datang saya tidak suka pokoknya kadang-kadang kalau saya mau pergi jenguk keluarganya si Travis saya tidak mau itu loh uh, bergabung ya kecuali dengan teman-teman uh, saya lebih suka lebih oke okay dengan teman-teman ya karena kalau di Indonesia juga seperti itu Natal hari-hari raya yang besar-besar saya tidak dengan keluarga saya memang sudah dari sononya saya seperti itu Uh, saya lebih suka pergi ke rumah teman ngerayain Natal dengan mereka daripada dengan keluarga saya tidak ada benci-benci tapi karena memang sudah sudah begitu oke okay, saya akan bikin video itu uh, dalam beberapa waktu ke depan ini karena saya sudah rencana saya sudah beli bahan-bahannya tinggal mau bikin doang tapi saya masih cari waktu yang tepat ya Shadow Almost Three Zoe Two and a half, um, Willow, two and a half, Ronan, one and a half, yeah? One and a half. Weather. Weather. Oh, yeah. It changes, to, like, it's, um, it's, uh, it goes from rainy to sunny to rainy to sunny in the same day, and there's, like, rain for ten minutes and it's gone. I don't know. It's, it's like the weather is bipolar. Yeah. Yes, we're not gonna move right now. Because si Travis masih di sini beberapa tahun lagi, mungkin lima tahun tinggal di sini, uh, dan habis itu kita akan pindah dan mau kemana yang itu tergantung dia. Mungkin dia suka sekali mau pergi ke Jepang, pemirsa. Pokoknya dia bagi bagian Asia, tapi kalau di di Asia, ya. Yeah. Uh, my requests uh, list is Germany, Japan, uh, also Korea. 9 November, 3 February. Zat lagi di luar main sama serigala. Ya, karena uh, si dokter bilang I don't care. So, ya, yeah. oke. Okay. <laughs> Jadi kita itu deh nge-vlog di sana. Si Travis yang pegang namanya itu kamera-kamera. I, I told them I was going to shoot no matter what. Anyways. Uh, komunikasinya tidak susah karena uh, saya selalu telepon mereka tengah malam. Which is di sana siang-siang. Jadi. Most romantic. Hmm. How about the time I uh, the uh, bubbles? Oh. And yeah. Waktu itu saya sedang duduk-duduk pemirsa terus dia langsung angkat saya pergi ke bata dan dia sudah sediakan itu bubble-bubble dan lain sebagainya untuk mandi dan habis itu saya di bata lagi asik-asik cium yang harum-harum dia bawakan makanan juga kepada saya pemirsa jadi saya makan dan mandi at the same time. And then I give you a massage. Oh ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oke, okay, yang tadi Ali Kerait dia mau tanya, uh, dia mau kirim sesuatu untuk Zack dan Rachel, bisa kirim ke alamat yang ada di, di description box. Yes, that's my pure box. So. Saya pakai post office biasa waktu pengalaman saya ke Travis dan itu empat hari langsung sampai di sini ya. So, saya tidak pernah pakai Ferris or DHL Express. Zack, karena waktu itu si Zack saya di rumah sakit dari jam 6 pagi sampai jam 11 malam sampai si Zack lahir. Si Rachel gampang sekali tidak terobek kalau si Zack terobek banyak sekali jahat. Um, tapi si Zack waktu itu lebih ringan daripada si Rachel. Saya tadi ya waktu itu pemirsa di rumah sakit sama satu rumah sakit dengar. <laughs> kalau si Rachel saya tidak terlalu banyak tidak teriak ya. Karena waktu si Zack mereka kasih saya petosin. 
jadi dia merangsang itu perut supaya anak cepat keluar pemirsa aduh capek deh I'm going to definitely encourage him to go in the military um, but I'm not going to force him to do that because he I don't want him to, to be forced into a lifestyle he doesn't like however all the same principles all the same lessons I'm going to teach to him regardless if he joins the military okay. but I will definitely encourage him okay saya pikir LBR selalu komunikasi harus walaupun sesibuk apapun harus biar cuma hi how are you harus di text pasangan kalian saling percaya terus uh, saling apa ya mendukung satu sama lain ya dengan apa yang kalian berdua lakuin what do you wanna add uh, tips for long distance relationship uh, you are said good communication yeah. um, so uh, I, I think I said that you should uh, schedule your guys' times to Skype or call because um, if you guys just try calling at random times to see each other you're gonna uh, waste your time not always be available so uh, make sure you have like this time every day or this time every week and loyal and, and remain loyal yeah um, don't put your if you don't want to remain loyal don't go to places like bars where you might get drunk and meet other women don't even put yourself in the situation um, you're taken okay um, it is cheaper to buy a house and I don't know why you want to buy an apartment unless you're investing because a uh, apartment is more than one living space so if you buy more than one living space you're probably having more than one family living there um, oh. and the gym would be a lot more expensive than a house sekarang masih Indonesia tapi mungkin satu tahun dari sekarang saya akan uh, tes untuk menjadi warga negara Amerika Pemirsa change my nationality um, you will always be um, still Indonesian because I believe Indonesian law doesn't mean you lose your um, your residency when you become an American. Um, and America cannot take your passport away. It's not within the law to say you're not a citizen of Indonesia anymore. So if you, when you get your American citizenship, you are still an Indonesian citizen. Really? Yes. It, America is one of the few countries where they say if you go to, say if I go to Indonesia and I become a citizen of Indonesia, America will take away my passport for being an American. See? But America can't do that to you. Because you're Indonesian, they can't take away your Indonesian passport. So you'll have dual citizenship. You can come and go to America and in, in Indonesia. Yes. Okay. Yep. It's good news for all you Indonesians that uh, become Americans. That's why there's no reason not to become a citizen. It just mm. means you have to stop paying for your green card renewals and all okay. that those uh, those uh, background investigations. Tidak terlalu horror horror. Cuma palingan satu kali dua kali saya dengar, tapi habis itu tidak lagi ya. Oke, okay, sebenarnya cuma ada satu setan di rumah ini ya. Dia. <laughs> Dia yang ini adalah ghostnya. Dia ini selalu sneaky peeky di dalam rumah Mesa. Dulu waktu saya dia beli ini, misalnya waktu itu di, di ruang tamu lagi nonton TV pemirsa dia masuk, saya tidak tahu sama sekali padahal mata saya terbuka lebar-lebar, lihat di semua sudut rumah saya tidak, tidak lihat dia masuk sama sekali pemirsa dan dia bawa ini, dia taruh di meja terus saya bilang, lo gimana kamu bisa masuk ke rumah, kamu boleh dari jendela ya? dia bilang, no, saya masuk ke rumah dari depan pintu tapi saya tidak bisa lihat ini setan ini <laughs> Hobi sekali menakuti saya. Itu saya belum tahu ya. Saya sih rencana mau vlog, tapi kan hidup dan mati itu soal Tuhan yang menentukan. Jadi kalau saya diberikan kesehatan dan you know umur yang panjang, saya akan nge-vlog sampai si Rachel dan Zakir. Ini sih 50-50 ya. Um, kalau saya pilih Indonesia karena mungkin adalah um, kali persaudaraan di sana sama makanan-makanan um, yang saya bisa dapat. Um, Terus uh, teman-teman saya ada di sana, tapi yang tidak ada di Indonesia itu kayak kalau di sini semuanya serba asuransi ya. Jadi kalau saya mau melahirkan, saya masuk uh, rumah sakit, saya tidak pakai bayar atau apa mengurus ini itu dulu dengan uh, front desk, terus saya baru melahirkan. Semuanya mereka harus mengutamakan pasien ya. Saya tidak tahu dengan Indonesia, tapi yang saya akan uh, pilih dari Amerika itu mereka number one adalah keselamatan ya contohnya begitu tapi kalau di Amerika yang susahnya itu uh, uh, pajak itu sangat tinggi ya 
uh, apalagi ya di sini. Hmm. Saya pikir dari 2014 waktu saya bikin YouTube, uh, YouTube channel saya, tapi saya tidak selalu pakai atau upload video di situ karena saya sibuk dengan pekerjaan saya waktu itu, jadi saya lebih memilih pekerjaan saya. Tapi waktu saya pindah ke sini, saya tidak tahu lagi bikin apa karena saya pekerjaan saya tiap hari membersihkan rumah dan jaga anak-anak, jadi saya bikin vlog. Uh, channel saya itu lima bulan yang lalu dan ya di sinilah saya uh, Verizon. We still have Verizon. We're still Verizon for now, but we want to change soon because they cost way too much money. You gonna change it? Yeah. Yes. Saya kebanyakan ngidamnya makanan Indonesia. Ya yeah, kita pergi ke zoo. Uh, di sini tidak ada pantai. <laughs> I wish. I wish there's an ocean. So can you take her so I can get some water, please? I'm so thirsty. Okay. My butt hurts. So. My butt is so hard to. Oh. Setiba bumi beringin menaruh jurusan bahasa Inggris. So, saya waktu itu di Las Vegas kerja ya di restoran dan yes saya bakalan kerja kalau mereka sudah besar. Uh, tapi sebelum itu saya akan sekolah dulu karena si Travis ada rencana buat saya dia suka saya menjadi guru. Jadi um, mungkin saya akan ambil sekolah dan saya akan apply menjadi guru kalau you know Tuhan berkenan itu cuma rencana kita saja uh, tidak tahu apa yang akan terjadi next time tapi itu yang ada di benak saya sekarang yes jadi saya beli kamera saya pertama kali bukan karena untuk YouTube tapi untuk fotografi kalau saya uh, gendong si Rachel dia juga mau saya gendong dia at the same time tapi saya punya tangan cuma dua tidak bisa gendong satu kali dia akan ambil mainannya dia yang kecil-kecil itu terus dia mau lempar ke Rachel aduh oh my gosh kalau dia mau menunjukkan sayang kepada Rachel dia sering kayak ulas-ulas rambutnya si Rachel atau senyum-senyum uh, pegang pipinya si Rachel gitu gitu dia pemirsa Rachel artinya dari Bible karena si dia suka sekali nama Rachel karena his ex-wife name was Rachel And then dia juga yang kasih nama Zack. Jadi yang middle middle name itu saya yang kasih nama ya. Zack tidak ada arti. No, the scariest of them all, Shadow or Willow. Willow. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rachel's weight was 7.01 pounds. Yeah. When she was born. Yeah, and saya di di bius, di bius. Maksud kamu kayak saya tidak sadar gitu ya. Obat yang mereka kasih kepada saya itu cuma um, epidural. Jadi mereka taruh dari belakang supaya itu mengeramkan dari bagian pinggul sampai di bawah tapi saya tidak mengerti ini apa yang anda maksud dengan the bios ya maafkan saya karena saya tidak terlalu uh, you know so ya yeah, epidural untuk uh, menghilangkan rasa sakit itu saja oh my god pantat saya ini keram dan pemirsa hey god horror was Travis lebih jahat lagi pemirsa dari saya. <laughs> Ini lucu sekali. Uh, saya tidak tahu siapa yang mau menawari saya menjadi artis atau keluarga saya atau si Zack saya tidak tahu ya. So yes, we are planning on living in Indonesia for um, for the rest of our life probably. We we will probably still have a house in America, but we'll have a house there, in a community there. So yeah. I look, for, I look forward to retiring in in in, in Indonesia. Wow, wish I again. I look forward to retiring in Indonesia. Well, yeah. we'll still have an American home. I am seventy-two inches or six feet. This one, I didn't convince my parents at all. I just say I have a boyfriend and he's gonna come in Indonesia and we're gonna do an uh, engagement party and that's it. And they were like, okay, that's it. <laughs> so nothing special. So, kita taruh mereka di luar, baru abis itu uh, tamunya masuk. Kalau tamunya keluar, baru mereka masuk. Oke, okay, ini dari saya. Saya anggap mereka itu semua seperti batu atau pohon, you know? The easiest way to stop being shy and to be better at speaking in front of people is to do it. Um, so, when someone is really scared to talk in front of the class, how do you break them of the fear? You make them talk in front of the class a lot. 
eventually it becomes normal and you're comfortable. You're always a little scared of something new. But if it's not new, it's not scary. Hmm. Kebanyakan saya kasih uh, tinggal dia di tempat tidur langsung dia tidur sendiri ya. Tapi lain kali saya duduk di uh, di samping tempat tidurnya dan baca cerita. Nah, itu saya sudah tes tapi dia tidak bisa tidur pemirsa. Jadi dia cuma main-main doang. Jadi kalau saya mau baca cerita ke dia harus uh, kayak satu jam atau dua jam sebelum dia tidur, kayak dia sementara main-main, itu saya baca cerita ya. Tapi kalau enggak, dia enggak akan bakalan tidur. Jadi selalu selalu saya bikin saya taruh dia di tempat tidur saya kasih mati lampu kasih uh, apa putar lagu saya keluar langsung dia tidur. We do give him a bath and we give him food that makes him tired. No, yes. Dia tidak bujuk-bujuk saya pemirsa. Dia tidak sama seperti cowok Indonesia kayak ini sih yang saya lihat ya kalau cowok Indonesia kan kayak. Oh sayang kamu diam dong kayak gitu dia enggak dia pokoknya harus selesaikan masalah harus sebagai you know uh, mature jangan kebanyakan kan cewek cewek Indonesia kan maunya kayak dimanja manjain gitu loh nah, dia bilang mature no child child no child child no child di sini dia selalu like ke pokok permasalahan langsung dibicarakan tidak ada perbujuan di sini ini dia tergantung ya pemirsa kalau kebanyakan anak pertama itu uh, kadang-kadang digunting kadang-kadang dia terobek sendiri pemirsa jadi waktu saya dengan Zizak itu tidak digunting sama sekali dan juga waktu si Rachel tidak digunting sama sekali uh, waktu si Zizak itu dia terobek sendiri karena bebinya terlalu besar dan mungkin waktu itu saya anak pertama jadi habis itu deh di di su so so maksudnya so saya tidak digunting <laughs> they never talk. One, they don't know English at all. Second, call to America is expensive. Third, they don't know each other. So no. Relationship, I don't think it's good or bad, just they don't care each other. <laughs> yeah. You know the best thing women can do to prevent their husband from cheating is to treat their husband well. So if you are nice to your husband and you uh, show them gratitude for what they do and you value them and you respect them, then your man will have no reason to want to go somewhere else. Now, that's just in general. For me, uh, if you're asking the question in the first place, you probably don't know me very well. Uh, one of the most important things to me is loyalty. Loyalty in everything you do. Um, loyal to my country, um, loyal to my friends, loyal to the people I work with, and absolutely loyal to my wife. When I come home from work, if I have a wife there who's there to give me a hug and be happy I'm there and ensure that she's happy I'm home, instead of a, a wife that is complaining and yelling and um, saying, um, first thing, that I need you to do this, this, and this. Well, I need that sometimes. I complain, but it's sometimes. No, I meant like every day. Oh, every day now. Yeah. Um, so, there's a... Um, the way you can gauge whether or not you have a positive or negative relationship is um, how many times you have say or do something negative or positive to that person, right? So if the majority of the times that you see that person, they are being loving and kind to you, like um, showing they appreciate you. So the majority of times I come home, my wife is happy that I'm home and she is hugging me and, and um, saying she's glad I'm home and then she is appreciative of how hard I work, then... He will stay. Then I'll, well, I'm going to stay regardless because I'm loyal, but I'm trying to help them. They're asking not only because of me. They're not going to get me. None of your fans are going to be married to me. But they're asking why, what do you do? Because they got to want to know what they can do for their husbands. That's what they're asking. Yeah. Right? So, for your husbands, treat them kind and uh, loving and with respect and show them appreciation every time they come home from work or any time you see them or is is, is try to be, do that more than have come to them with complaint. If they come to you and they love coming home to you, if they want to come home to you, then they won't need to go somewhere else. But I promise you, if your husband comes home and you are being horrible to them and complaining and, um, and um, arguing with them and uh, showing them no appreciation, then they're not going to want to come home. They'll go somewhere else to get to find that because a man needs 
appreciation. They need respect. They need love from somewhere. If you don't give it to them, they'll find someone else to get it from. I give it to you right now. <laughs> you got lipstick. <laughs> okay. Okay, saya kerja di uh, restoran, jadi saya menjadi kesir, tulisan. Karena saya juga di train masak, jadi kalau ada banyak orang begitu, kadang-kadang saya disuruh, oke okay, kamu di dapur aja. She did a very good job working there by the way. Her boss loved her and was really sad to see her go. Ya, bos saya tuh waktu saya, <gasps> wait. Her boss tried to convince her to stay and to leave me. <laughs> hey, they're gonna watch this trap. <laughs> I'm only kidding, maybe, a little bit. But, sorry. But anyway, yes, bos saya waktu itu dia tidak mau saya pergi. Jadi, uh, waktu saya selesai lahirin si Zalak, bos saya bilang, terserah kamu mau datang kerja kapan, uh, nanti uh, biarpun satu hari, dua hari, atau berapa jam saja kamu datang di uh, kerja, tidak apa-apa ya. Karena... <laughs> Dia mau saya pilih sendiri jam kerja saya, pemirsa, karena saking sayangnya dia sama saya. <laughs> uh, menurut saya sih enggak, karena kita berdua nikahnya di Chico, California, dan itu uh, dokumennya sangat simple sekali. I think it's two birth certificates. Yeah, birth certificate, social security number, yeah. and my passport. And that's it. The passport is because you need identification. Yeah, kita tidak nikah di Indonesia, jadi. Sangat gampang ya. Mungkin beda-beda uh, ya, beda state, beda hukum. Most people, the average person, when you ask them about Indonesia in America, they don't know where Indonesia is, and they don't know anything about Indonesia. Um, the average person. Now, someone who travels a lot, someone who's been there into Asia, um, would know. Um, but most people don't have a bad feeling about Indonesia. They also don't know it's majority Muslim. However, in the military, uh, when I told the um, the people that I was going to travel there, because um, when you travel overseas in the military, you have to get um, briefings and get a plan from the military of how to leave the, uh, Indonesia. And so they know where you are at every minute. So if they need you to come back, they can get you. And if you need to get out, they can take you. Because um, the, there is American military in Indonesia who are there to help any uh, Americans who are in trouble. Um, so they told me that Indonesia has a lot of corruption where if you um, are talking with cops a lot of times to they will come to American and put them in trouble um, just so that the American can give them money to get out of trouble. Um, there are people who will pickpocket. Um, there is a lot of uh, sex trade there where they steal girls to uh, sell them to other countries. Um, the other things that um, I was told when I was going there from people who are teaching me stuff to try to help me to be safe. Um, I don't think there's a negative feeling about Indonesia, but there is a lot of crime. Um, and also, uh, we know that we are tu we're tourists from America, that people see us as, as being rich. Um, and even though I'm not rich and I don't have a lot of money to give, uh, people will think I am. Um, but overall, I was told and I found out for myself that Indonesians are, for the most part, uh, nice to Americans in Sulawesi. Sulawesi, yeah. Sulawesi. Most people are very good to tourists there. So most tourists are not afraid to visit that area. However, I'm not allowed to leave the airport at Jakarta because uh, the, the American people think it's too dangerous there. Yeah, jadi dia tidak bisa jalan-jalan di Jakarta waktu itu pemirsa. Karena dikontrol ya. No. <laughs> dia tidak geli-geli. You're really clean. Yeah. However, there are some times where I want to be romantic with you and you I ask you if you've taken a shower today and you say No. Uh, I took a shower yesterday. <laughs> I said, honey, that's not the same thing. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm asking because, you know, what we're about to do, I would really prefer you to be very clean. <laughs> well, and then I go shower. And then you should. Dear, no cigarette, no smoking, no alcohol drinking, drinking, drunk, no. No. 
Menurut saya, cowok Amerika itu tidak terlalu banyak lebay-lebay ya. Ini enggak semua cowok Indonesia yang lebay-lebay ya. Kalau orang Amerika PDKT-nya tuh pokoknya to the point ya. Kayak waktu dulu si Travis kayak PDKT ke saya itu dia tanya e, bagaimana hari-hari saya. Cuma begitu saja ya. E, dan habis itu langsung dia bilang begini. Can I change our relationship on Facebook? Like, terus saya ha? Perasaan kamu belum PDKT yang gimana-gimana gitu Kalau kalau orang Indonesia kan e, pakai acara SMS nanti tiap hari Kayak sudah makan belum, atau sudah mandi belum, sudah berat belum ya Tapi kalau orang Amerika enggak, pokoknya langsung Dan waktu saya langsung bilang, aduh Saya bilang ke dia, aduh tolong kasih waktu saya Saya mau thinking-thinking dulu ya Jadi I think that we were the right age um... I know some people have gotten married um, at age 18, and I think that's too early. Yeah. Um, but it is also based on the maturity of the people, because, you know, some people are more mature at age 20 than other people. Some people at age 20 are still acting like a kid. If you're still acting like a kid, you aren't ready to be married. And then it's less about your age, it's less about, it's more about your life. Uh, and if you're, the man needs to have a job that makes enough money to take care of a wife before he gets a wife. He needs to be able to give a home that's big enough for a wife before he gets a wife. You know, he needs to be able to, to take care of his family. And the, the woman needs to be able to be ready to be married as well. Um, yeah. So it's not uh, about age, really. It's more about uh, maturity. maturity. Yeah. And, um, I, and I think the right time for you to marry someone is when you're ready. Like you think that you know how to cook or at least yeah for a woman uh how you can you know please your husband mm -hmm. at home yeah you one of the bigger things is whoever you're thinking about marrying you should ask them what they expect from a husband or a wife because you might not be thinking the same thing a woman might be thinking she wants to be a career woman who goes out and earns money for herself and the husband and a wife both work jobs and not at home very much but the man's thinking, I want a woman who's at home waiting for me every day and who's going to have food ready for me at lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and she's going to do all these things. Well, if you guys don't discuss this before, then you guys are going to have huge arguments and maybe the divorce. Okay, saya lagi menyusui. Okay, jadi suami saya dia tidak beda sama sekali ya dari dulu sampai sekarang dia tetap sama. Cuma bedanya badan doang. Badan yang sekarang ini sudah agak naik. Oke, okay, pertama kalau uh, di rumah sakit anak baru lahir memang kuahnya, air susunya belum keluar ya Tapi harus dicoba-coba terus um, Dan di samping itu harus dikasih susu karena anak harus makan kan Tapi uh, si nurse dan dokter di sini mereka bilang walaupun kasih susu harus dicoba-coba lagi itu uh, breastnya Supaya susu bisa keluar gitu loh Uh, we got nothing from actually we got some of your mom stuff like house stuff not very much some of the furniture like a cabinet that the tv over here is sitting on uh, that holds that the, the screen for the camera uh, that, that kind of stuff not a whole lot of expensive stuff most of the things i own i earn myself uh, my family my mom um not very wealthy at all very poor um, and my first car I bought myself, most of my things I bought myself when I was a kid. Um, and though I do have some nice things, uh, like some dishes from my mom that I very much appreciate, um, no, most of the stuff that was not given to me by anyone else. Mobil kita beli sendiri. Mobil yang saya punya saya beli sendiri, Pemirsa. I earned that money mm -hmm. and I bought it with my own money. And what else have we bought? Well, mobil si Dogi Dogi, monster-monster kita pemirsa mereka punya mobil. <laughs> Tapi kita sudah kasih ke kakaknya dia karena mobil kakaknya diculik, no, dirampok dan di uh, dirusak sampai tidak ada tidak ada mobil lagi karena mereka cuma punya mobil satu dan mereka tinggal di California itu sangat uh, mahal sekali di sana dan istrinya tidak kerja pemirsa. Makanya Dia bilang ke saya kalau mobil dogi dogi kita kasih saja ke kakaknya. We never owned a new car. We've only ever bought uh, used cars because yep. and it's uh, much cheaper to get a used car. Well, and that's the smartest thing ever to do when you live in the United States. Don't buy a brand new car. Yeah, because it might start out at twenty five thousand dollars, but as soon as you drive it off the lot, 
it's the worth price. Like, it's worth like 19. Mm -hmm. And then a, a year later, it's worth 15. Mm -hmm. And so on and so forth. So buy the used car. Yeah. It's not that Zach can't ever kiss me, but um, that's not. That's too touchy feely for a, a guy, I think. He gets lots of love. He gets lots of, oh, he gets lots of hugs from me. He does get some kisses, but um, that's not one. It's not my parenting style. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Saya maunya uh, Travis. <laughs> Waktu itu di vlog saya saya bercanda doang. Travis is my first and only husband. I never married before. Lies. She has lots of husbands. <laughs> no. Only one. Okay. Zoe does not care to Willow at all. Like sometimes Zoe pick a fight yes. with Willow. Even though she is small, don't see her because she is small. Her voice is so loud and she can scratch like basically all of us here. Yeah? And the dog the big dogs, she doesn't scare at all. So Jangan tertipu dengan badannya yang kecil pemirsa. Willow um knows that she's the dominant female. Uh, in the group, so when um, it's time to eat, she'll um, she'll want to eat before Zoe because she's the, the bigger one. Uh -huh. When Zoe goes up to eat, Willow will tell her, hey, get back. And then when Willow gets only a little bit angry uh, to tell her to eat second, Zoe attack her. And then <laughs> yeah. Willow has to attack, attack her back, back <laughs> to show that she's the boss. Yeah. And, and Willow sometimes is growling in her face and Zoe's fighting back and Willow will like, what do I do next? I won't actually bite her. Yeah. <laughs> but she won't give up. Yeah, we, Willow never bites Zoe. Or no. the other dogs, they don't bite her. But she pins her to the ground and, and growls in her face, telling her to, to stay in line. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm, I'm the boss. Yang besar dulu makan kecil. Nope. Uh, saya dulu sukanya temenan sama bule. Uh, saya suka ngomong sama bule. Uh, tapi kalau mau pikir mau nikah sama bule, out of my mind. When I was kid, I love to watch war movie, you know, like, wow, American soldiers are very, you know, big and they have big muscles and they're so cool. But I never thought about having one, you know. I just study English in my college and, you know, so yeah, one day he basically came from Asian dating and... <laughs> hey, you attack me first. I attack you, yes, that's right. And then I ignore it, but then you were persistent. <laughs> yes, when we exchange the phone number, you call me every day. Like, hello, I also have my privacy. Well, you have to pick up. Well, saya hanya mencari diri sendiri. Pokoknya, kalau saya lucu di vlog atau apa gitu, ya begitulah saya, pemirsa. Di real life itu begitu. Sudah dibikin-bikin ya. Ongkir saya tidak tahu itu uh, tergantung weight. Dan yes, makeupnya di sini lebih jauh lebih murah. No, saya tidak dekat dengan keluarganya si Travis dan saya tidak selalu tanya kabar atau apa telepon telepon itu enggak karena saya orangnya tidak suka ngomong sama you know ibu mertua itu ibu mertua saya yang uh, berjuang mati matian untuk ngomong sama saya. Cuma saya orangnya dari dulu. Saya tidak suka berkolaborasi dengan orang yang tua-tua, maksudnya bukan orang yang umurnya sudah tua-tua, tapi dari yang namanya ibu, nama, oh my god, dari yang namanya mama-mama. Uh, Oke, okay, let me explain. Oke, okay, jadi saya tidak terlalu suka untuk bergabung dengan uh, keluarga ya, keluarga dia atau keluarga saya, like, kayak ibu saya, saya tidak selalu bergabung dengan dia. Uh, karena memang saya tidak suka begitu loh ya Jadi waktu saya pacaran dengan si Travis Saya tidak ngomong dengan si Travis lewat Skype dengan mamanya itu enggak Because um, I don't live near my family Yeah And also I don't close to your mom No, you're not close to your mom or Yeah, I mom. don't yeah. So I don't know, some people find it weird Like because in Indonesia before you got married to the guy the woman should go close to the you know, mother-in-law to be. But I'm in the military and I live far from my family, so it wouldn't make sense. I couldn't even get 
time off work to go visit my family, let alone have my wife visit them also. Ya, bisa. Walaupun dekat juga saya tidak akan pergi untuk bersilaturahmi ya, karena saya memang orangnya tidak begitu. So, pemirsa, call me crazy. <laughs> Every Sunday, no. But we go to church uh, a couple times. And when we don't go to church, we do have the recordings of my church. My church back home takes a video, a professional video of every service. So on Sundays, we can watch the video of my... Live. Yeah, or live, um, of my pastor preaching. So we may not be there in person, but we at least get to watch them. Um, but we are trying to go there in person. Um, I really miss my church back home. And now, kita tidak pergi ke church because Rachel is still small. Dan kalau di church di sini kan, uh, pokoknya anak umuran ini ada ruangan sendiri. Setiap umur ada pemirsa. Jadi saya tidak mau ada orang lain yang tangani si Rachel. Jadi saya bilang ke Travis, no, 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 hold on to go to church right now. Just broadcast it live at home. So when Rachel is like, probably, I don't know, maybe tomorrow we're gonna go to church because she is big enough, yeah. almost one month. So, um, yeah, tapi kita juga pergi ke church pemirsa. Kita. In America, in America, we um, have the kids separated from the main, the adults yeah. in church, and I don't really like leaving my young children with people I don't know that well. Mm -hmm. uh, my goal in life belum tercapai. Oh, yang lain sudah tercapai ya. Uh, having two kids, a boy and girl. Tapi uh, goal yang lain itu saya sukanya mau membuat. Uh, kayak shelter gitu untuk dogi-dogi menyelamatkan dogi-dogi homeless belum tercapai so maybe one day um, I don't choose Travis as my husband yeah she regrets that God choose him she wish he chose for me else. God knows that he is the one so he give it to me thank you well since you're talking so many nice things about me it's probably a good time for me to go I love you so much baby Thank you, Pramisa. She's gonna finish up without me, but I gotta go. Okay, bye. Bye. Now, I'm using Trasme, which is for dry hair, which is for damaged hair. I'm using it, and I really like it. I've searched a little bit, but it's not visible. I'm using it for palm oil, which is for dry hair. I'm using it for dry hair, which is for dry hair. Coconut oil ya untuk stretch mark dan juga untuk yang lain-lain kulit kering juga bisa pakai itu atau problem loose skin itu no way oke okay? saya mau kasih tips satu ya satu aja berani don't be scared karena takut salah karena waktu saya dulu saya nggak peduli mau saya salah berapa kata ke saya mau salah uh, berapa kalimat ke I don't care As long as I try, you need to try if you want to talk in English. You just, you know, whatever that you have in your head at the time, talk. Like if you, kebanyakan saya itu waktu dulu saya bilang, Hey, how are you? Paling banyak sekali cuma bilang itu. Terus kalau boleh-boleh sudah ngomong, saya sudah bilang, I don't understand. Keluarga saya, kita tidak menerima uang-uang lamaran atau apa tuh yang namanya tradisi-tradisi Indonesia itu yang mau kasih uang atau kasih barang itu kita sudah hilangkan dari dulu ya khususnya keluarga kita tidak pakai itu lagi pemirsa jadi uh, waktu itu pokoknya Travis tidak kasih apa-apa dan keluarga saya oke okay with that karena mereka juga tidak peduli so, oke okay. saya pernah pacaran dengan orang Indo mantan saya itu cuma empat orang yes jadi si Travis itu yang kelima One second. Satu, satu, dua, tiga, empat. Ya, mantan saya cuma empat. Saya pernah pacaran sama Brom dong, pemirsa. Waktu itu saya kuliah. I don't know semester berapa waktu itu, tapi pacar saya waktu itu dia SMA. So after dia saya ketemu si Travis. I'm okay, walking, doing whatever, wearing jeans. I'm fine. Uh, tidak ada di sini tidak seperti Indonesia percaya ini itu ini itu ya yang tidak benar-benar itu so no problem for me 
saya itu sering terkandas-kandas kalau dengar si Travis uh, ngomong karena dia itu ngomongnya oh, oh, oh. problem yang paling besar dengan saya itu kadang-kadang dia ngomongnya banyak di idioms kita itu sering salah paham pemirsa nggak semua idiom di sini yang saya tahu oke okay? banyak sekali idiom yang dipakai di Amerika pemirsa what picture <laughs> Oke, okay, itu saat kemarin saya uh, foto dia. <laughs> zak, zak. Akhirnya ada yang perhatikan kenapa kita berdua tidak pakai cincin. Oke, okay, pertama-tama saya tidak suka aksesoris. Inti saya cuma satu pemirsa, cuma kalung. Saya pakai cincin kawin kecuali kita pergi ke pesta. Travis, dia tidak pakai cincin karena cincin kawinnya sudah hilang. Yang aslinya itu sudah hilang. Di tempat kerjanya juga tidak diizinkan memakai cincin ya Makanya saya bilang ke dia, loh ngapain kamu beli cincin ini kayak yang baru bikin habis duit, nggak usah Mereka saya pakai saja, beli saya cincin yang murah-murah di Walmart dengan harga 5 dolar terus pakai saja Dan kalau dia hilang biarkan saja, jangan beli yang mahal-mahal lagi Dengan satu cara aja, berapapun marahnya suami saya atau saya, uh, pasti akan redah dengan cara ini ya So kalau kita marahan saya peluk si Travis atau dia yang peluk saya duluan langsung sudah redup redup like, like what like hilang dengan sekejap itu marah mana so oke okay, pemirsa so that's it for my Q&A today saya harap kalian bisa suka dan dan maaf sekali kalau Q&A nya lama di upload uh, tolong dimaklumi dan juga terima kasih untuk semua pertanyaan-pertanyaan maaf sedalam-dalamnya kalau saya tidak menjawab pertanyaan kalian yang lain karena saya mendapatkan banyak sekali pertanyaannya seribu lebih jadi uh, thank you so much for your time saya harap ini bisa membantu uh, dan maaf saya tidak uh, taruh subtitle di bawah karena saya tidak punya banyak waktu sekarang ini so you understand me right so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and um, I will talk to you guys in my next video bye bye